Hello, everybody, and welcome. As we like to do every week, we like to take a look at the past week's market activity and then kind of bounce around the market and look for something to do. Well, if you've been watching the market at all, you've seen the last actually few weeks now where it was on an uptrend for months at a time. For whatever reason, the last few weeks is starting to take a bit of a dive. And as that happens, you can see volatility starts to increase. So this is the S&P 500. Again, they are going to look fairly similar if we go to the NASDAQ. Similar story. You can see it's heading down as well. The IWM, same type story. So volatility is starting to increase in the market. The indices are taking a bit of a beating over the past couple weeks. So let's bounce around and look for something to trade. We're going to go to DocuSign, and you'll see why in a second. Hopefully this is standing out to you right here. Like, what's that? Volatility shot up to the moon. Now this volatility is because earnings is happening. Same thing with this. So when earnings is happening, volatility always increases because all this means is we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. They're going to announce earnings, good or bad, we have no idea. So volatility increases because we don't know, fear of the unknown. But in this case, it's been basically in this range for the last few weeks. And for some crazy reason, volatility is shooting up. Then we have earnings over here on 9-11. I think it is, we hold over here, 9-11. So we want to get out of the trade before earnings happens. If we look at this, we can see essentially it's at its low of the, the entire year. This is about as low as it's been roughly, except for right here, but essentially this is as low as it's been all year. So as a contrarian, we're going to say, hey, over the next whatever, just about a month before this earnings, we're going to close this trade. We're going to assume it's going to go up from here. So if we go over here, 47 days, which means tomorrow it'll be 46. We're at DocuSign. The stock price is essentially $49. So if we go to the trade page, we're going to look to sell a put vertical, assuming it's going to go up over the next month before earnings hits. Again, purely my assumption, if you think it's going to go down, you would sell a call vertical. So in this case, we're going to sell a put vertical. We're looking for between 33 to 40 cents per dollar width. So let's just pick a random number. We'll go down to 46 and sell a vertical. 36 cents fits our rules. Could we make this $2 wide if we wanted to, if we want to take more risk? So we'd make this 44. Now we'd be looking for 66 to 80 cents. It still works. So in this case, we'll do a $2 wide vertical because I want to make it a bigger trade. I'm collecting 68 cents, risking 132 because, again, max potential profit, which is what I sell this for, plus max potential loss, which is the width of the strikes minus what I collect, which is 132. That's how I get the 132 max total loss. So tomorrow, DocuSign, if everything stays right here, we're going to sell a $2 wide vertical, put vertical. As long as we collect at least 66 cents or more, this is good. This is going to expire on the 29th of September, but we're going to get out of it on the 11th. We're going to close this win or lose. We're going to close this before earnings takes place. So we're just betting this trade is going to hopefully work in our favor over the next three to four weeks, but we'll close it up before the earnings actually happens. And that is our trade in DocuSign. One, I am excited to let you know I've completed a book that is now available to everyone that wants to get it called Learn to Trade in Seven Days. This is a book that will take you from absolute ground zero as far as knowing absolutely nothing about options all the way to trading them. Now, I'm so intent on getting this book to you because I really believe it is such a valuable resource for anybody and everybody that I'm going to offer an incredible deal on this. So stick with me on this. But before we get there, I want to show you what the book entails. The book is broken down into seven days, day one being... What is an option? You'll learn everything about options themselves. We'll compare stocks versus options. Then we'll get into basic option strategies like the vertical. And finally, we'll wrap it up with how to trade verticals and then the making and managing of trades, which is to me the key to success long term above all. Now, as I mentioned, if you get into it now, if you go to this link, you can get this book for only $9.99. And I know that may not appeal to a lot of people because a lot of people aren't into books, but I'm so intent on getting you this book because I really believe it is such a valuable resource to anybody and everybody that I'll also throw in any one of my courses right here available on Udemy right now. So for only $9.99, you not only get the book itself, but you get one free course which can be valued for as much as $100 depending on when and where you buy these courses. Again, just go to this link here and it'll take you 
to this page where as you can see you'll get the book and one of my courses for only $9.99 so really can't be beat so again just to reiterate go to this link here you will get my book which you can hang on to forever and I really believe it's such a vital resource I'm throwing in a course to really get you motivated to buy this book that's how important I really believe this book is the book and one of my courses for only $9.99 simply by going to this link please jump on this opportunity it is something you really will be happy you did.